something happened on the freeway. So it's traffic. It's 8.04 a.m. Oh boy. Happy Saturday, guys. How are you? I am on my way. It's gonna be about, uh, usually it's a 45 minute drive, but if you guys, oh man, if you can see this. traffic jam this is rare for this freeway so something must have happened um, and actually I was supposed to have left my house earlier because I'm going to meet my sister she's doing like a little boutique selling so I'm going to meet her just to help her out and just to, for support and be there if I would have left earlier I'm thinking man you know who knows I don't know how long this freeway has been congested like this but I'm just sitting here, so I said, well, let me pull out my camera and get a little vlogging in. And I'm also catching up on my Bible reading. I was behind three days. Um, and then I have to finish a book that I actually started like mid-March. Um, okay, <laughs> so I'm going to get that finished probably. All right, so because I had just jumped on the freeway. I barely was on the freeway five minutes and then all of this congestion. All right, guys, I will try to remember to vlog a little bit at the boutique if, you know, with my sister's permission, we'll see, or if they allow vlogging in there. I don't even know what type of venue the setup is going to be, but hopefully it's going to be fun, and I hope she does well, and I'll see you guys in a bit. guys so i made it safe and sound it was a nice time i'm glad my sister invited me oh my gosh those ladies were having a time of their lives ladies and gentlemen they were had different costumes on and i showed you guys a little clip of the dancing they had at least five other different groups there and one lady is there that's um real popular in that community. She's teaching the line dancing and then they had the vendors and my sister was doing very well. She had a great time. She's a natural <laughs> at, you know, selling and just blessing people. It's just turned on the dot four o'clock. So I'm gonna go in and uh, relax and everything, unpack my little bag. I have my little tote bag with different things in it. I actually took my lunch to eat, so I had that. Plus, I thought it was so sweet. They served us a little lunch. I tried to show you guys a little snippet of it. I ate the sandwich and I gave the chips away. I did eat the two little Oreos and they gave us uh, soda and water. I had my own zero soda, so I had that and I drank water. As I was driving down, I told you I was catching up on all my Bible reading. But on the way back, I'm finishing up a book that I was reading in March, and that was um, The Fiction Formula. I needed to finish that book. I can't even believe this is mid-April, you guys. Can you believe it? Thank goodness. And rah, rah, rah to all of you guys that are really participating and doing well in Camp NaNoWriMo for this April. Congratulations. Some, some of you may already have reached your goal. That's awesome. All right. I didn't really participate this year, but yeah, maybe I'll look to July. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I already put Kobe outdoors. He's out there eating his food. And he had his treat. 
<laughs> There's Mr. Kobe. Hey, Kobe. He needs a good grooming. He's looking very rough right now. I'm going to get comfortable. I'm going to take this off. I just wore my hoodie and uh, these black pants and my my orange Crocs. I'm making myself some coffee. It smells so good. I just love it. It's the ground Starbucks coffee, the breakfast blend. And then I'm going to go on and cook. I'm going to be eating around 5 o'clock. Right now it's 14. Oh, guys, I brought this with me. This was one of the items my sister was selling. I think I have this once. Yeah, I have the same one that you guys will see in one of my vlogs. I'm just going to use it for when I'm doing writing, as I haven't been doing, but I'm also going to be using it for... Actually, I should be using it also while I'm editing. So it has pages for your expenses in here. So I was going to use this for the business. I'm going to take this to one of her customers that this just happened to live near me. My sister's device didn't work at the time. She was very disappointed, but it worked out. She had a device that it kept saying it was offline. So to get payment, she was using other forms of payment. But this lady didn't have either or the payment that she was using. So I'm just going to take it to her and she'll just give me cash. Works out. <laughs> Okay, so I had that stuff with me, but I really didn't work on it. And then these are some little Twizzler candies uh, that someone, one of the vendors was giving away. I'm gonna put that in my purse for work. Then I have to take this charger, you guys. I know it's, <laughs> I need the regular charger because this one, oh my gosh, first of all, I've been carrying it around so much. So now the cord is, seem like it's coming apart right here. You guys ignore my dry hands. I've been washing my hands so much today. Plug this here so when I finish vlogging, I can plug my phone back up and I'll carry my bundle of pens again, my wallet, my device, and my little book. We were offering them to people if they bought the planners, so a couple of people bought them. But if you guys remember the video I made with these making the book charms. Yeah. So a couple of people, they, well, a few people brought the planners, but I didn't think about it until the idea of adding that to it. So it worked out. And then it's my journal. I didn't take this with me. Did I have this one? I can't remember if I had it in the bag or not. I think I took it off before I got on camera. And I had to calculate it, but my sister had everything she needed, of course. So I'm in the kitchen and I had already washed the zucchini off and cut these up before I came on camera. And I put a little bit of salt, black pepper, and some dill weed on it. And then I have some thawed out turkey patties. I put black pepper on them. I'm gonna grind these up in the small small jalapeno pepper and some cilantro. I'm gonna put it in and just make one big patty. Put it in the air fryer. I don't know if you guys can see me do all of that. So I, this is the nicest little device here that I have. Ah, my sister gave it to me like a couple of years ago. And I put on my little white little house shoes. Took off my Crocs. I have to unplug all of this stuff because sometimes it's too much and it overloads the system. All right. So I'm just gonna cut up, put a few pieces in here. The mushroom. See, I'll just put like two for each burger. So that's a total of four, four pieces. I'll cut some small slices of the jalapeno and put that in there. So I like it sort of hot, so. <laughs> and then I'm gonna top this off with some Tabasco sauce. It's so good. It's the Chipotle Tabasco. So good. And then I put some cilantro. Just a little. I love the taste of cilantro. Cut this little bell pepper. Okay. 
Let me put this away. I did this process with, with different vegetables. I put them inside of bison burgers, and then I froze them. And when I needed them, I would just take them out and put them in this air fryer and let them cook. Dynamite. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see how small it is. A little smaller. Okay, it went too much. Okay, that's perfect. See, it makes a lot. See that? So I'm just gonna uh, put this in here. Let's see. Let me put it in a bowl so I mix it all up. I made myself my coffee. My hands are clean. Yeah. I probably should have removed some of the seeds out the jalapenos, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to be too hot. So I'm gonna put this in here and mix it up. I'm just gonna make one big patty. So I'll cook the meat first and then I'll steam those vegetables in the microwave. That's a little, that red, this thing right here, it's a rice steamer, it's so cool. Got it years ago from Avon. I don't, they don't probably still have it. That was eons ago. And I had it a long time before I actually started using it. When I say eons, I'm talking about maybe 10 years or so ago. Yeah. So, I'm not even going to put any salt in this. Be cutting my salt. I'm going to be talking to you guys about some things. Yeah. Regarding my half eating the way I eat. Uh, so, I'm going to flatten this out. What I do, I cook it in one big piece and then I just eat half of it. Half before another thing. Let me wash my hands. Let me dry my hands. <laughs> I like to keep the stuff unplugged, so you just plug it when you need it, okay? Alright, see how big? It's just one big burger now. I'm gonna put it in here. Sometimes I'm, if I didn't use the jalapeno, I put hot sauce, but this is good. Pick it up. It broke apart, but that's okay. I just smash it back together. Yeah, let's put it on for about 20 minutes. This usually does well. I pull it from the sides a little bit so I can get it out. All right, turn it to 20 minutes. All right, wash this. And when that's done cooking, then I'll put the zucchini and yellow squash for about, this is really quick. This takes maybe 20 minutes or so. I can't remember exactly. So I'm going to let that cook. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go and finish listening to some of this book. Oh well, of course I have to <laughs> of course I have to turn the camera off. I think I'm on part five of the book. See you guys in a bit. Hopefully I'll can remember to show you the finished dish. Okay, I'm all done eating. It was delicious. And um, I actually, this time, like you saw, I really didn't put any salt on it. And I was, it was still tasty. Could have been, you know, a little tastier, 
but I'm trying not to use so much salt, which I'm not a big salt user anyway, but I can probably do it out. Okay, so now I'm working on my reading journal, you guys. Oh man, I had gotten behind on writing some of the things. So this is um, from the end of March. No, this is April, the beginning of April. And then I went to the movies to see that it, as you saw in my other video, I saw a thousand and one. Excellent. I think I've caught up on this. I was just decorating some of the pages, you know, putting some color to them like this one. Let's see which one did I just finish like this one burlesque. Oh my gosh, you guys. Awesomeness. I watched it two times. <laughs> Look at that. I watched twice. And with Christina Aguilera, it's obviously an old movie. I remember the songs and everything to that at the time, but I don't recall it was about a movie. It was that long ago. And then I was also making some notes in my book for me to do editing and things. Um, oh, I was, as I was finishing up this book, I think uh, by Johnny Truant and forgot the other guy's name anyway. I was finishing up the book Fiction Formula. I'm almost done. It's a couple of more hours. And he said this at the beginning of the book, but he's saying it again about go on and pick your, your book covers. Wow. So now that's a little scary, but oh man, they went into real detail in this book. So I better do what they say and yeah. And go on and um, find a cover designer. So if anybody that's in the author two world, in the indie world, know of a designer, my books are going to be general, the fiction books. So it's like full of drama, uh, a little action, uh, life situations like that. So I believe I'm doing it in the right genre. So I need to work with someone and, you know, we match our taste or whatever and I see their work and they see my vision <laughs> and so I can get that going. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to finish listening to it and while I'm doing that, I'm going to take my hair down. So the next time you see me, don't go, ah! Because hey, I'm going to take it all loose and I may or may not comb it out. It's been about a, maybe like uh, six weeks I've been wearing this. It's so much fun. But I'm gonna wear my natural hair for like a week or two. Then I'll be back in more braids. It's a protective style. I have in my mind to do small, small, what they call micro braids. Okay, it's the difference between micro and nano. Nano is small, like so thin, thin. It just flows like liquid, it's just so thin. But if I do those, let's see, I'll do all of May, June, July. No, I'm just doing micros. Micros are a little bit bigger and they'll last just as long because I just want to do them and keep it like that for like about three months. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's enough. You weren't here for a hair show <laughs> or hair information, but thank you for listening anyway. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit.